we've got the visiting team and the home team. Get a nice clean game, huh? Kicks it to Bellinelli. Back to Bargnani. No luck. Injuries have certainly taken their toll on Bargnani, culminating in disaster last season. Greg shooting up for only 29 games, the fewest ever in his career. Yeah, I mean, he had the, a series of leg injuries, the, the hammy, the calf. Really unfortunate part about it is that he has so much talent, but yet really to develop that on the floor because of all the issues. Now the starting group for the visitors. They've got Bargnani, also two. Luigi Dicome out there, and it's Bellinelli in at the two guard. First one falls for him. And in thinking about Bargnani's impact, he's a guy who can generate points from every spot on the floor. Three-point range, converts at the rim. He's about seven feet tall, 250 pounds, and shoots free throws like a guard. That one falls, so he hits both of them. And, and talking about Bargnani last season, he was actually generating efficient numbers when he was healthy. I mean, way up in field goal percentage, three-point percentage. I would love to see him remain healthy and, and have a chance to quiet the battle. Now let's send it over to Doris Burke, who was able to talk with Kevin McHale. I asked him about the matchup problems created by a player like Andrea Bargnani, a seven-foot sharpshooter. He said he can give us problems, no doubt. It's tough to really bother that shot, and he can also put it on the deck and drive. We've got to just get into his body, try to make him a facilitator rather than a scorer. Kevin will see if they're successful. Thank you, Doris. Passes to McCaleb. Addition now to Antic. Fires the three. The shot no good. And there's the pass to Bellinelli. And he gets it to go. Nice work on the inside. Hard to get that one up and over the big fella. Well, it's not supposed to be easy down there. And a little artistry on the inside helped him make it happen. Frills it from outside. Antic has got five. They really can't allow him too many open looks like that. I mean, that's just inviting trouble. About a minute and a half through the first quarter. And he takes the feed in stride and slams it home. Yes, Make it two hands for safety. That's what they say, right, Kevin? Yeah, that's right. You got it. And he was also safe with that jump. No reason not to be. And guys, as he should be, remove all doubt on that attack. And that one's good. Oh, nice drive there to get to the bucket using some of that terrific agility that he possesses. Pass to Bargnani. He feeds it to Bellinelli. This one for three. His shot is good, making him a perfect two for two from the floor. That's the kind of D that you're not going to find success with, guys. They've got to get a hand in the face. And so here's the home team. Feeds it to Antic. That one off the back iron and out. Great looking defense, really, just to disrupt the rhythm on that shot. Yeah, really turned it from a simple, straightforward look into a very difficult shot. To the paint, there's McCaleb. That one falls, his second basket of the game. He's now two for three. Defensively, that possession better not start a trend because they just handed him two points. The feed to Bellinelli. Shoots the three. No good. Kevin, just enough presence to bother that three-point attempt there. Yeah, but, but for a guy that shoots it as well as he does, I, I'd say that is an easy look. And Antic gets it to go. The screenplay worked ideally there, and I'm not talking about the screenplay you see in a movie theater. <laughs> Gave him more than enough room to get that shot off. Bargnani makes no mistake on the open jump shot. 
And first quarter, we're about three and a half minutes in. They set the pick. It's deflected, and it ends up out of bounds. And they retain possession. Here's Hontich. He has seven. Bargnani grabs the ball. That's the kind of D you need when he's got the ball near the hoop. They were all over. It took him no time at all on that one. 